Hello people of the internet. In this development update I want to show you some new features I've added to the game I'm working on, the Voxel game. So to start off, uh, I've already showed you last time, but just to review, this is the terrain settings menu where you can set uh, all the various terrain settings. So I can uh, change uh, the mountain size and uh, how the frequency of the mountains and here you have a 2D preview of a slice of the landscape. You can also change the cave size. So uh, these are just to uh, the settings to uh, create the terrain, but the settings for now are good. So let's hit generate, and if we look down, we can see the landscape being generated. So the first feature I want to show you is that now you're able to pick the block type you want to place. So you see here in the left top corner, you uh, you can place stone blocks. So I can place stone blocks, but I can also change it to grass blocks or to wood blocks or to leaf blocks. So these are the default blocks I have in the game right now. But I've also added a different or special kind of block which I call the, the magic box. So let me switch to the magic box. So here's what it looks like. And with the magic box you can place and store uh, pre-made uh, structures or designs you made in game. So let me find a nice spot to place some structures. Well, maybe here on the top of a hill. So let me place the magic box here. And here you have the menu. Um, let me first show you the place functionality. So here are all the uh, pre-made structures you can choose from. I want to make a preview image later, but for now these are just buttons. So if I click on the second slot, for example, I placed a hut design in it, so here you have a preview of the hut that will be placed. So if you want to actually place it, we click place and there we have it. We have a nice hut on the top of the hill. So we can, oh, I think I made it a bit too high for us to enter. Uh, maybe it's also nice to show you the functionality of the include air. So if I include the air, then it will empty out all the uh, uh, blocks that would collide with the design so now we can walk in the building but a house is just a house what if you want to have a nice big watchtower well I've also made that so let me click the last structure and if I click place then we can see we have a really nice watchtower isn't it beautiful so we can also walk inside and I can show you around a little bit. Don't mind the gaps. So we go all the way up to the top. I may also made some staircases inside so we can walk up to the top. And here we have a nice view of our voxel landscape surroundings. So this way it's really easy to build whole buildings, uh, cities, structures, whatever you want. And also the magic box itself, it's very handy to create these structures. So I only had to make the lower base and then I just copy paste it to the top. And then the top I made some uh, decoration by hand. And so we can not only place structures, but we can also save structures. And let me show it by just uh, storing just a piece of the landscape. So I place a magic box here, place an in or press interact. And then I go to the store tab and here we can uh, fill in a name for the, for the box or for the design. So let me just fill in a test, although that doesn't work. Because uh, so I'm filling in uh, a design and let me fill in the volume. And here we have preview of what will be saved. So everything inside of this box will be saved, but that's fine for now. And I click submit and on, top, on the bottom here, you can see it's saved to this uh, folder. And if I show you uh, what kind of file it saves as, it's a text file in JSON format. So it can be easily exchanged with other programs and web services. So here you can see these are the coordinates of all the uh, voxel blocks. So they're pairs or actually um, triple, I don't know how you say it, like a pair of three numbers, uh, which are the X, Y, Z coordinates. So this is one block, this is one block, and these are all the wood blocks. You have all the stone blocks here, and here are some of the leaf blocks. 
So this is the coordinates file of the watchtower, which is uh, quite some blocks as you can see. And in the future, I hope to uh, uh, be able to exchange these designs uh, to an online database so people can uh, share and uh, download uh, designs from other people. But that will be in the next development update. Uh, so I hope I will be able to show that in one or two weeks. And for now, stay tuned. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video.